Hey, Tracy Lewis from Stuff and Things. I was asked by one of the crafting folks to do a video of our home. So I'm trying to take it from the perspective of showing the size of space that I have inside. It is 32 and a half feet long. It's called a 303 RLS. I do have some camping folks on here, so they on my YouTube channel, so they might be intrigued. So first off, it ha does have two awnings, which is lovely. And my husband gets this giant picture window that, unfortunately, when he plays on the computer his games, he has to always close the curtain or it's there's too much glare and he can't see. And we both have non-glare monitors, but that doesn't help. So here's our steps. We had to get a fourth baby step, and in this case, some places are level enough. This particular site, the ground slopes away, so we do use our baby step. And then we have our clean-off rug to try to keep things clean, which is an ongoing challenge. So we do have in this rig, which is a little different than our old one, the old one we had was 34 feet 10 inches, and it had a seating area a wardrobe and the pantry instead of this whole cabinetry section. We really like the cabinetry. We like having the counter to have our printer and keep. This is mostly Hub's area. And the reason why it's his area is he actually sits and it has this dedicated space for himself right here. And he, oh, he set up his tab so you can see kind of how his technology station is set up like. And up here, so we have a, a little hallway with a couple of steps. And bathroom, the light turns on automatically. And inside the tub, or shower area, we keep our wash machine the clothes hanger and the vacuum cleaner and that works perfect for us it has a pan or a pantry a linen closet and of course in the back here you can see the linen closet has some paper pumpkin boxes a little bit of storage this is the bedroom space and that wood the bamboo wood thing is my table that I can either set up my laptop I can craft if I want to, or I can just put my fire up there, and that's my tablet, is a fire tablet that I use for streaming shows. Underneath here, you'll see I have a lot of storage of crafting supplies, and I think, yep, and some hub of hub shoes. Underneath the bed is storage, and it is mostly bedding and coats. All right. And this is what the, the vanity looks like. It's pretty simple. And of course it's clean because we just moved. Our storage underneath here is not bad. We keep all of our supplies under here. And have more little cubby holes. Oh, I should show you this. We added a toilet roll holder there. Hub did that. And he also replumbed the sink. It had this hard plastic, not quite PEX, it was something different, and he changed it to flexible metal for hot and cold. So it's easier for him to manage as things come up. And we actually ended up with a leak. That's how he changed it all out. So here's the kitchen, dining, living room, all in, all in one space. I live at the white table. I already did a video, which I will link to the end of this if you haven't seen it. This is my, with my new setup, where my laptop is off the table. For the first two years, I sat at this at a table, either this one or one like this, that had the laptop sitting on the table, so it would get too hot. The the tray that it is sitting on has holes, so it has better ventilation. And what I ended up doing was using metal cans the almond cans to get it off the table so it wouldn't overheat. So, 
This whole end is all mine. I have most of my storage. All of my current products are at the the two cabinet doors on the right. The left cabinet door has our old laptops and a case. This, these four doors have mostly retired. It has my completed cards and it has my label maker and some other business stuff up here. This is one of my little, these are the decorations that I keep up and I really like. And then I have a calendar over here. This is the area right here where I put all of my cards, which I had just, I had take, kept all of my cards from Easter on up there from all of my card pals and they are put away now. But why I put them on that side is because normally I face away from the monitor, monitor, sorry, away from the TV, which is behind me, because I like to look out. This is my view for the next three weeks. It is mostly green foliage, and there's nobody behind us, and somebody on either side, staggered, so you can't really see them. And from this side... If I want to watch something on TV, I will rotate my table around and I can put it perpendicular to the island and then Hub and I can both sit at the theater seats and watch whatever we want to watch here on TV. I own the left drawer. Hub has all of the technology smaller stuff in the right drawer. The middle cabinet here has the radio which we never use, and a DVR player, which we never use because we just stream. This TV is a Roku TV, so it already has all of the internet connections and YouTube. The left side here has paper pumpkin stuff, some jewelry making stuff, and on the right has my uh, supplies, extra supplies and um, empty containers that I like to use. So here is the angle if you want to see the space from this end. We have two folding chairs. There are a total of four, but Hub wanted his big chair. So two of the folding chairs are in a storage unit of ours. And so far with the 32 feet, we haven't found any need for more space. The 40-footers have usually a middle room, and it'll be here at where the ba where our bathroom is. There will be a space that will have either a bunk or some sort of a, a craft space that I would use for a craft space. It's just like a middle room, so it's almost like it becomes a two-bedroom apartment. In this case, with the 32-footer, you get a one-bedroom apartment, and here's the cool thing. Um, there are doors, so at night, if I want to go to bed early, I can come up here and close the door. In like a Class A motorhome, which was one of our options to decide on, we didn't like the, the lack of private space if one person wants to be taking a nap or sleeping at a different time than the other person. I guess the other interesting thing is this this white thing is what I take videos on. I just bend it down. It has the, the clamp so it can hold my phone. And I will bend it down in whichever way I need to take the video. And it does, we did get a second AC unit because we spend a lot of time in the hot climate. Uh, we added a second AC unit up above here, which our other trailer did not have. and. It really had a hard time staying cool when it was anything over, say, 90 degrees. The second AC is wonderful. Even if you only have 30 amp service, which is not enough power to run both, you can still run the one down when you're awake downstairs, turn off the one downstairs at night, and cool down the room because the, the one up above is set up to cool a larger space than that little room so it cools that room down in you know five minutes it's cool and then we can go to bed the one above is noisy enough that we can't really use it so we'll use it 
to cool the room down, turn off the AC up above, turn on the AC down below, which also blows cool air, just not as strong, into the bedroom. And then we always run fans. Right now it is 74 degrees um, and we're in the Pacific Northwest, north of Everett, and it's humid, really humid. So the minute we landed and we got everything um, set up, we oh, got our fans going. Our fans is our first line of defense, and we'll turn on the overhead fan slash AC later on in the day when it gets warmer and we start to get miserable, but we like to keep the air moving. And that's pretty much all I can think of as far as showing what kind of space we have. I can tell you it is a very good design, in my opinion, with the island that you can walk all the way around. So you can kind of have two people in the kitchen, and then same... The, the bathroom has two points of entry and exit so you can have a full walk around in both spaces which is really really handy and this design you can find this layout most of the brands have it uh, maybe a slight variation of the theme the other interesting thing while I'm thinking about it is the double fridge we've had pretty good luck it has a hard time keeping temperature. It's right now 38 degrees, which is um, a little bit on the high side. Our old fridge was a single wide fridge and it maintained temperature more readily. But we love the space and uh, definitely can go buy groceries and we just don't even have to worry. You know, we're not, it's just the two of us, so it's not like we buy tons of groceries, but at least when we go now, we do not have to be concerned with how many groceries we buy and where we're going to put everything. We can, we can even buy the bulk paper towels because of the storage here. We can buy bulk paper towels and store them up above. See, right now we're low on paper towels, but that upper cabinet is pretty much dedicated to paper towels when we buy a fresh, oversized a uh, bunch of them. And then same with TP, we're able to buy the bulk toilet paper and that linen closet that I showed you holds in the bottom part a complete huge thing of toilet paper. So we just haven't found a need for, uh, well not a need for, but a lack of space at this point. And we are now working on our second year of being in this trailer and we just have not had any space issues so it's been great and I appreciate that Hub has given me so much of the storage inside uh, the old trailer I had one big blue bin underneath this time around I took enough space up inside that I don't have any of my crafting supplies down below and Hub keeps all of his supplies and tools and and things that he would need are all down below wherever he wants them so that our we keep our stuff totally separate which is nice so we're not stepping on each other's toes I hope this answers any of your questions those of you who are crafters and can't even fathom how someone could travel full-time and be a demonstrator and a crafter and a youtuber and I just find that the space I have here that I'm filming now this white table is plenty I will set up my die cutter up here on the island I have a little TV tray that if I'm doing you know like power crafting with my card making pal Libby we do virtual crafting once a month and I will set up the TV tray so I have like I'll spread out more and have more stuff out she's a very fast crafter and I am a slow crafter so if I have everything out ready to go very close by I can at least keep pace with her as best I can and not have to go be hunting down something in these cabinets and that just further delays me so anyhow thanks for watching and I hope you found this useful